right? Because if you look at our ears, they're all designed really to listen from the side forwards, and they're not really designed to listen to from the back. So we can localize a bit here, but it's not that fantastic. But at the front here, you should hear quite good localization of where that, sig where that signal is. And so we've taken our traditional eight channel mixing and we've turned it into an ambisonic file, an ambisonic third order format here in our encoder. And then we've been able, because that's now an ambisonic file, to decode that to headphones. So here we're doing encoding and decoding. And you'll see they're actually called that multi-channel encoder binaural decoder, okay? So then basically, if we wanted to output that now onto the loudspeakers, we've already got this set up as an ambisonic signal. So we could just turn this off and put in um, a multi-channel decoder, like the ARIA decoder. And we could just remove the extra channels here because we don't have 12 speakers in the lab. And now we have eight channels and that would be with the first one over there. And now we have an eight channel loudspeaker array ready to go. And now we're just basically ready to play that out. Now, why? Because once we have an ambisonic signal, we can decode it to anything we like, right? If you come over and we go and do a trip to ZKM, we've got 64 loudspeakers. Then we just upload, we just add our loudspeaker layout for those speakers and we're ready to play back our ambisonic track on a 64 loudspeaker dome. It's as simple as that. So that's why having everything in ambisonics is like super awesome.